days are filled with sorrow and care. Hearts are lonely and drear. Burdens are lifted at Calvary. Jesus is very near. Burdens are lifted at Calvary. Calvary, Calvary. Burdens are lifted at Calvary. Jesus is very near. Cast your care on Jesus today. Leave your worry and fear. Burdens are lifted at Calvary. Jesus is very near. Burdens are lifted at Calvary. Calvary, Calvary, burdens are lifted at Calvary. Jesus is very near. Troubled soul, the Savior can see every heartache and tear. Burdens are lifted at Calvary. Jesus is very near. Burdens are lifted at Calvary. Calvary, Calvary. Burdens are lifted at Calvary. Jesus is very near. Look over the page 269. Nothing but the blood. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. No other fount I know, nothing but the blood of Jesus. For my part in this I see, nothing but the blood of Jesus. For my cleansing this my plea, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow. That makes me white as snow. No other fount I know. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Nothing can for sin atone. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Not of good that I have done. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. No other fount I know, nothing but the blood of Jesus. This is all my hope and peace, nothing but the blood of Jesus. This is all my righteousness. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. No other fount I know. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. You may be seated. The holy hill. 
loved ones wait and crowns are given and the hills of home they're calling me this house of flesh is but a prison bars of bone hold my soul but the doors of clay are gonna burst wide open when the angels said my spirit Appreciate the good singing. Appreciate the Lord. I don't know anything that's not wonderful about the Lord, and that's because there isn't anything. But I really thought about this evening, <laughs> last few minutes, the foreknowledge of God. That's a wonderful thing. Nothing catches him by surprise. He knows how to prepare us. <laughs> if you want to turn in, uh, in the Bible to uh, Psalm 34. Psalm 34, verse uh, verse 19. When I found out I was preaching 
Lord willing, this, this evening, uh, I immediately found this verse and uh, I couldn't get away from it. Seemed like I wasn't getting the message that I thought I should be getting. But the uh, Lord said, just be patient, be doing what you know you need to do. Pray, study, and, uh, and then the Lord gave me some stuff, and I'm thankful for that today. Brother Mike this morning gave us a fish story on some other, other good uh, messages. I got a fish story. I, I was able to go fishing one day this week, caught a few fish. It's kind of good mind therapy, been out with a fishing pole, just, just the four of us. Me and Holy Spirit, Jesus and and God. That's that's a good crew to hang around with. It gets good when you're in that company. And uh, so I'd caught a few fish and we're getting along. I don't know somewhere around midday and it's getting hot and I wasn't catching any more. I wasn't catching any bites. I wasn't getting any bites. And. Uh, so I pulled in, took me a little rest, and ate me a bite. And before I know it, I framed this thought. And I was thinking about not getting any bites and what to do about that situation. So, so I said, Lord, what would you do? Well, it didn't take him too long to point out a few things. First thing that came to my mind was, well, if he's him, he, uh, he said, I'd just... Have them line up. I just tell them line up and go bite your hook whether you got any bait on it or not. <laughs> he could do that, you know. Or, or he said, I, I could just pull all the water out and the fish just be laying there and you go pick them up. And so I thought, well, and there's a lot of other things he could have done. I thought, well, I don't think any of that's going to work for me today. So I think I'll just keep on trying. So I, I think when things ain't going exactly the way we'd like them to be or plan for them to be, we'll just keep on trying. And uh, I didn't catch any more fish, but I did get another bite. It was a good one. I hung a big one. But he got off. <laughs> but anyway, that's better than no bite. So, so God's good all the time. All the time, God's good. In, uh, in Psalm 34, um, let's have a word of prayer and I'll give you a thought. Uh, I struggle with even this title, but the Lord wouldn't let me away from it. But he says, uh, the, the title I would give this message is, Oh, What a Savior. There's a lot to be said there. Well, let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father, we thank you, Lord, for just being here with us and Thank you how you give us good service this morning, and, and Lord, uh, how you're on top of every situation, and God, we're, we're thankful we can put our faith and our trust in you, and you'll always do right, you've always done right, and you'll continue to do right, and you're, you're a righteous God, and I, I just thank you, Lord, for, for loving us tonight, and just ask you to help us now we can't achieve anything without your help so just open our hearts and mind to the need tonight we love you in the precious one's name of jesus we pray amen and amen i do thank for each one been here tonight and all those listening in or will be listening in and for all your prayers and uh you know god's god's good and uh in psalm uh 34 verse 19 i'm gonna read one verse i got a few places that we'll try to turn to and and look for a moment tonight uh verse 19 says many are the afflictions of the righteous but the lord delivered him out of them all so i uh, you know I, I i looked at that and i looked at that and i, I you know god started showing me some things and 
when you look at that word affliction, there's a lot of meanings to it, but uh, it seems like the one used here is um, uh, referring to bad and evil things. And uh, so with a few minutes here, I'd like to just give you a few facts. Now, you know, you can see a couple promises here in this verse. It says, many are the afflictions of the righteous. Now, that's, that's the way it is. That's the way it's going to be. But it don't stop there. There's another promise. But the Lord delivered him out of, of them all. And so uh, uh, that's, uh, that's the truth of the word of God. And uh, I thought about some facts here. Fact number one, there's many bad and evil things. And I believe we can all agree that there's a lot of bad and evil things in this world. And, uh, and that we're afflicted by uh, 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 many of them. Didn't say all of them, but many. But God delivers us. And I looked around at a few places. I'm going to turn to a couple places. I've got mine marked. I, I'll try not to get too fast. If you want to flip there, if you want to just listen. But, uh, you know, I, I thought about, uh, you know, we, we, we deal with troubles and trials and tribulations uh, every day of our life. And uh, I, I looked over in uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 8. And uh, let me start at verse 7. The Bible says, But we have this treasure in earthen vessels, that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. And then verse 8. We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Thank God we've got Jesus. Now, you know, that, that, that makes all the difference. Uh, when the many bad things come our way, he's there. He's always there. Thank God. I'm glad for that. And then in 1 Peter, I'm going to read a verse or two there. 1 Peter uh, chapter 4, verse 12, it talks about uh, a, a trial. Uh, it says, uh, verse 11 says, If any man speak, let him speak as the, or as the oracles of God. If any man minister, let him do it as of the ability which God giveth, that God in all things may be glorified through Jesus Christ, to whom be praise and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Verse 12 says, Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you as though some strange thing had happened to you. So we shouldn't be caught uh, unaware, you know, we, 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 we should know that uh, we got these things to deal with. That's called, called life. And, uh, but then uh, in John chapter 16, the Bible talks about tribulation. John chapter 16, uh, it says, uh, in verse 33, it says, These things have I spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace. In the, in the world you shall have peace tribulation but be of good cheer i have overcome the world so boy you know what we could we could we could go around the room and we could talk about these many bad and evil things that that we have to deal with but boy i'm glad that we've got somebody on our side somebody bigger than the trial bigger than the trouble and bigger than the tribulation we've got jesus thank god we've got the holy spirit we got the heavenly father thank god We've got help. We'd be in a bad way if, if that wasn't the case. So, so that's fact number one. Here's number, fact number two. It says uh, in, in, in verse 19, Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. The Lord delivers. You know, 100% of the time. You know, I ain't never been a 99.9 .9 with him that he comes up short. You know, man, I was counting on you, Lord, and you just, you, you, you just didn't hardly come through. Just like your word says, that'll never happen. So I'm thankful that he delivers. Uh, uh, you know, he's, he's, he has a perfect record. Uh, in the past, he delivered. In the present, he's, he's delivering. And boy, in the future, he delivers. You know, we can go back. We get, again, we could go around a room, and we could go back, and we could share an account so, where God has delivered us in the past. And how he's helping us in the presence. Boy, I thank God for his help today. 
you know, and, and as we're well aware, many need his help today, and he's already on the scene. He already knew he would be needed today. Uh, that's that foreknowledge of God. Second Timothy uh, uh, chapter 4, uh, Paul knew a few things about, uh, about the Lord delivering. He, he gave us some, uh, a few things in Second Timothy chapter 4, verse, uh, verse 18. The Bible says, and the Lord shall deliver me from every evil work and will preserve me unto his heavenly kingdom to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Well, thank God. I'm glad, you know, the Lord delivers. Um, I'm, I'm, I can I can uh, I can uh, I can get up here uh, knowing that the Lord will help. The Lord will deliver. I can lay my head down tonight and know that his deliverance will be there. And I'm glad and thankful for that. Fact number three. Uh, it, back in Psalm 34, uh, I looked at verse 8, and I thought when I looked at that, uh, when things are bad, the Lord's still good. Things are bad, the Lord's still good. Verse 8 says, O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is a man that trusteth in him. Lord, thank God. I'm glad I know whom I trust is in. I'm glad that he never let me down. I'm glad I know that he can't let me down. And boy, I'm, I, you know, I, I'm, I can, I, uh, you know, I like to think that uh, you can put your trust in me and I do my best. But boy, I'll love to come up short and will come up short. But boy, Jesus won't. So when things are bad, he's still good. Uh, uh, verse, four, uh, verse 4 in Psalm 34 says, I sought the Lord and he heard me and he delivered me from all my fears. Oh, he, you know, he's, he's, uh, he's reachable all the time. All the time, you know, he, he's never, he's never unreachable. He's reachable all the time. And with the results, he goes on to say, they look, they, they look, verse five says, they looked unto him and were lightened and their face, faces were not ashamed. Verse six said, this poor, this poor man cried and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. Thank God. Oh, what a Lord, what a savior. He is. He's a great and wonderful Savior. But he's, a, he's reachable all the time and, and, and reachable and, and with the results. Uh, but, you know, he protects. Verse 7 said, you know, the Lord, he's big enough for every situation. Now, look, look at this. I, I, was, uh, I was studying this, and I realized something here. That the angel of the Lord encamped around about them that fear him and delivereth them. Now, that's one, one angel. That's, that's the Lord Jesus. He said, the angel of the Lord encampeth around them that fear him and delivereth them. Boy, he's a big God. He's able today. He's able. Boy, I'm telling you what, he's big enough for the little things. He's big enough for the big things. I'm glad for that. But he's, uh, uh, he's an unequaled provider. Verse 9 and 10, the Bible says that, O oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. The, the young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Come, ye children, hearken unto me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Or thank God, he, he's... Uh, He's, uh, when things are bad, the Lord's still good. Uh, I'm, I'm telling you, he provides in the, in the good times, in the bad times, in all times. So, so there's, there's, uh, there's three facts, but I got, I got another one here. It says in verse 22, the Lord has every circumstance and every situation covered for us. In verse 22, he, sa he says, the Lord redeemeth the soul of his, of his saints and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. Desolate. Boy, you know, he, the Lord redeemeth the soul of his servants. And none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. Boy, thank God the Lord has every circumstance, every situation covered for us. I, I can go forward with that. <laughs> thank God. Boy, the world tries to promise you this. The devil tries to promise you stuff. But boy, ain't none of it you can count on. But boy, you can count on the Lord. You can count on the Bible. 
You can count on the Holy Spirit. You can, tell, uh, you can count on our Heavenly Father. Thank God. I'm glad. Uh, that's, that's a fact. Mark uh, chapter 4. Let me, uh, let me read a few verses right there. Mark chapter 4. And let's see. Mark 4, uh, 39. 4.39. Listen to what the Bible says. And he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. And he said unto them, Why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? And they feared exceedingly and said one another, What manner of man is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? Boy, he's covered every situation. All he has to do is say, Peace, be still. You know, I, I, you know in the storm, I tell you what, you want to look for him, look for him. He'll, he'll be between you and the storm. It, it, it's hard to see the storm sometimes when you try to, you know, and you know how we are. We'll try to look around him, but you can't get around him. We'll try to look over him. Uh, you know, we'll try to look at the situation, but boy, thank God, he's between us and the storm. Hey, well, he'll be right there. He can put us right there in the eye of the storm. You know, that's that peaceful place. He can be bad all the way around, but thank God. What a Savior. Oh, what a Savior. He's good. I'm, I'm thankful for that tonight. So I want to I want to uh, I'll give you just a few things. Those are four facts I just wanted to point out tonight. But I want to I want to uh, 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 give you a few things that we need to be, uh, guard against. There's a few places I want to I want to turn to. And one of them's over in Ephesians chapter five. Let me read just a few verses there. Ephesians chapter five. See if I can find that here. But I, I think we should guard against wasted time. I don't know about you. But I have to be careful about that. I like to pray about everything. But that's easier said than done. I find myself taking off on some tangent <laughs> that turns out to be a waste of time. I wish I hadn't went that way. Hadn't done that. So we want to guard against that. And in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 15, uh, the Bible says, See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time. Because the days are evil. For, for be you not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. Mm, you know? Um, you know, it's, uh, it's good to ask the Lord questions, I think. <laughs> and, and I don't know where that question came from when I was fishing. Lord, what would you do? But I already knew a lot of the answers, and he didn't take long for me to review some of those. But, um, but we want to guard against wasted uh, time. We want to guard against wrong decisions. Look, at, look in Luke, Luke chapter 12. Luke 12. Luke chapter 12. We'll start there about verse 27. The Lord's speaking here, and he said, Consider the lilies, how they grow, they toil not, they spin not. And yet I say unto you that Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed as like one of these. If then God so clothed the grass, which is uh, today in the field, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, how much more will he clothe you, O ye of little faith? And seek not, uh, and seek not you what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, neither be ye doubtful, uh, doubtful mind be of a doubtful mind for for all these things do the nations of the world seek after but your your father knoweth that you have need of these things and in verse 31 but rather seek you the kingdom of god and all these things shall be added unto you fear not little flock for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom boy you don't thank god i, I tell you what we need to pray about everything Pray about everything. We need to guard against uh, wasted time, wrong decision. Uh, we need to guard against worry instead of prayer. First Peter. First Peter. First Peter, let's see, chapter 3, uh, verse 12. For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and his ears are open unto their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. And who is he that will harm you if you be followers of that which is good? 
But and if you suffer for righteous sake, happy are you, and be not afraid of, of the terror, neither be troubled. But sanctify the Lord God in your heart, and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of the, of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear, having a good conscience that whereas they speak evil of you as, as of evil doers, they may be ashamed that falsely accuse your good conversation in Christ, for it is better if the will of God be so that you suffer for well-doing than for evil-doing. Boy, thank God. Just pray. We just need to pray. <laughs> we worry too much. We'll pray more and worry less. And boy, you know, thank God. I'm, I'm glad that someone once said, I wrote it down here, someone once said, there's no room for gloom in a heart full of God. Now, y'all might let that sink in. Think about that. No, no room for gloom in a heart filled with God. Thank God. I like it. But we need to guard against uh, wasted time, wrong decisions, uh, worry, uh, uh, worrying instead of praying. But then uh, we need to be careful about being uninstructed. Oh, we need to be. In, we, we got a lot of verses that we, can, we could uh, go to in the Bible that tells us why we need to spend time in the Bible, read the Bible, study the Bible, be hearers, not uh, be uh, doers, not just hearers. Uh, so, so we need to be un in, uh, be on guard about being uh, uh, uninstructed. You know what the Lord's will is, and uh, and then we want to be on guard. We don't want to have to say this. I should, I should, have trusted God. Mm. You know. You down the road and and you and you realize you know I didn't put the prayer time in on this that I should have. If I had, I'd have made a different decision. And you know, uh, so so these these some things that we need to need to be uh, on guard against. But let me let me close down here. I'm I'm about about finished. I'm gonna be too long tonight. But in uh, in Psalm 34. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered him out of them all. Oh, what a Savior. He's a good Savior. And I want to, I want to look at the first two or three verses of that psalm. And that's where we'll, we'll finish up tonight. The psalmist wrote, I will bless the Lord. And that's an that's a act of adoration. Boy, we ought, to, we ought to just praise him and thank him. For everything, everything we do, how, how he helps us, and, and, and the many, many, many things. But he said, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. So that's, a good, that's some good illustrations there, you know, 24-7. Uh, uh, you know, uh, we sh we'll bless the Lord all of our waking hours. We're to go to sleep with, with uh, uh, blessing the Lord on our heart. And we ought to wake up with blessing the Lord on our heart. And I'll tell you what, sweet will be good in between those. That'd be, that's like a, laying your head on a heavenly pillow. You know, that'd bring good, good sweet sleep. But uh, we need to follow these examples in, in verse 1 and, and, and 2. And then, uh, uh, you, you know, Adore him and praise him. And then look what he says. We ought to encourage one another. He says, oh, magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt his name together. Boy, I'll tell you what. We're, we're, uh, we all have the same, same agenda. You know, God's given us a, God saved us and, Put us in the ministry one way or the other. And there's a lot of people that they're counting on us. And so I'm glad we have a Savior that will help us along the way. We're not going to get much done if it wasn't for him. But boy, we can get it all done because of him. So God's good. Oh, what a Savior. Uh, uh, that's... that's uh, that's what I had for you tonight. We're going to have a word of prayer. And just thank the Lord for his goodness. And just ask him to 
just help us with these many afflictions and just help us to always to remember that he delivereth him out of them all. For such a small word, it's got such a big meaning. All. All means all. I heard a preacher say that one time. I have never forgot it. What's all mean? All means all. When God says all, he means all. So I'm glad. I'm glad we can put our confidence, our faith, our trust in the Lord tonight. Father, we thank you, Lord, for this few minutes that you allowed us to be here today. And, Lord, for the good spirit of God that's been with us today. And, Lord, uh, and Lord, we've, we've, um, we're so thankful, Lord, that, that we have you uh, to always be there, to always lean on, always help us along the way. And when our brothers and sisters are suffering, we can all pray together and just uh, know that you will bring comfort and peace uh, amidst the worst of storms. And Lord, we'll, we're looking forward one day when you'll be coming back to get us and we'll be forever with the Lord. What a great day that will be. Oh, what a Savior you are. And we praise you and thank you for that. God, help us now. Lord, uh, I'd like to have a good report on someone being saved. So help us, Lord, just uh, uh, reach that one that uh, that's knows they're not saved. Or maybe that one that thinks they're saved, that the Bible says it's not, not so. But God, we, we pray for uh, that you just help us, Lord. And Lord, uh, you know the needs that we have tonight. I mean, Lord, you take your word to help us to uh, uh, be encouraged and uh, help us to... Uh, adjust where we need to adjust to uh, help us to guard against the things in our life that would would uh, uh, hurt the cause of Christ and Lord just to always follow the facts the facts in the word of God we love you and thank you for all you've done for us in the present one's name of Jesus we pray amen and amen all right all hearts and mind clear. Anybody got anything tonight? Now's the time to say it if the Lord spoke to your heart about anything. We'll be praying for this week and those on our heart that stand in need of prayer tonight. I appreciate you pray for them and we're going to, as soon as we finish here, we'll go to the private side of live stream, have, have our uh, praise and prayer request and uh, just just remember oh what a savior he's a good savior that's all I've got you're dismissed until we pray and, all right brother